Okay, this is just a really nice continuation from last time where we talk about the Northeast Let Us Walk. And here's a question for you guys for today. Suppose we have a robot and you're going to program it. Each every time, he's going to move randomly either to the left or to the right one unit. And we will assume that we will have the equal probability of doing so. So it's 50%, 50% of moving to the left or in moving to the right. And now the question is, what is the probability of getting back to the original position zero after 10 moves? So for example, you can just go from here, one, two, three, four, five, five moves all the way to the right, and then five moves back. That's a total of 10 moves, and then you are back at zero. And of course you can do five moves here and then five moves back, same thing. But you can also have done one, two, three, four, and so on. And then at the end of 10 moves, you get back to zero as well. So anyway, pause the video and try this first. Okay, I will tell you guys that the answer to this right here is 63 over 256. And this is approximately 24.6%. And if you got this right, you can comment yay down below and you might be featured in my next video. Anyway, I will show you guys how to figure this out. And this is seriously similar to what we have talked about last time. So we have to think about this from a combinatorial point of view. First of all, we have to talk about how can we go back to zero after 10 moves. So let me just write this down for you guys. So suppose we have 10 slots right here. So each one represents either left or right, right? So let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we just have to think about, how can we really go back to zero? Well, in fact, I gave you guys a hint earlier already. For example, I told you guys, this was the example, right? You could have just gone five times to the right, and then five times to the left, and you can go back to zero. In another word, as long as you can have five of these moves right here being toward right, and then the other five being to the left, and you are done, pretty much. And especially, we are assuming that we have an equal chance of going to the left and going to the right, okay? So one of the configuration is that you can have just the first five being R, meaning toward right, and then the rest five of being toward the left. That's pretty much it. But it doesn't have to be like that. You can get R right here, and maybe R right here as well, and maybe one more, and maybe Two more right here. And when you choose five of these 10 spots to be moving to the right, this is going to tell you the rest is just going to be toward the left. So you can have L, 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 and L. So this tells you that I move to the left first, and then three times to the right. So you will be one, two, three right here. And then you go back to the uh, left again. So you are right here, and then two more to the right, so right here, and then lastly, you go back to the original place. So in another word, remember, this is a probability, so we are going to look for two things. The first thing is the number of ways, and by the way, this is not hashtag, this means number, okay? This means the number of ways to get phi to the right, so phi r and then phi l. So it's something like this. And we have to divide it by what? The total number of configuration. Remember, we have 10 moves. Well, it's possible because this is a robot, this is like a computer, it's possible for this person, this robot, to just go 10 all the way to the right. So that's a configuration, right? But anyway, remember, 10 moves. Each move, we can have either left or right, so we have two choices. And then the second move, we have two choices. And likewise, the third move, we also have two choices, and so on, so on, so on. So on the bottom, it's just 2 to the 10th power, but I will just write down, this is just the total possible uh, configuration. All right? Okay, so on the bottom, it's just 2 to the 10th power. We talked about it earlier, and now, to get phi r, phi l, it's pretty much what I talked about earlier. I just have to do 10 moves, 
and choose five of them to be to the left or to the right. Doesn't really matter, it's symmetrical anyway. So I will just do 10, choose five. Once I pick five spots to be moving to the right, the other five is toward the left, and then we are pretty much done. And of course, you can use a calculator to figure this out. You get 63 over 256. And this right here is it. Hopefully, you guys all like this video. And perhaps I can leave a slightly more challenging question for you guys. Maybe you can use a computer program to solve it or whatever. What happens if we have a 3D version? So not only we can move to the left or the right, how about if we can also go up and down? Not the 3D, sorry, 2D technically, right? 2D. So what happens if you can go up and down? So 2D situation. Yes, if you want, you can talk about 3D as well. But I'm going to leave that to you guys. Anyway, hopefully you guys all like this video. And if you haven't already, I would love to have you on my channel. So please subscribe. I like to make math videos for you guys. And as always, that's it.